Civil society organizations, including churches, NGOs, government agencies, and private institutions, met yesterday at Lamana Hotel to announce the upcoming CSO seminar and exhibition. But the message echoed in yesterday's meet was the need for the government to focus primarily on the lives of communities in forest areas. Most expressed that forest communities are always left out while millions and billions are made from the forest. Taking into consideration the outer rural people, their needs and concerns is going to be captured. These are our needs. Many of these groups have worked in rural communities in the country. They have been at the forefront to deliver services and drive government's agenda forward. Our local forest resource owners are mainly losers in the end. They suffer uh, due to uh, logging activities and all that. And they're left in terms of development. And if they become part of the uh, development process, part of the uh, uh, key active uh, stakeholders in the process, in the end, we'll realize that they are uh, they're happy. They believe sustainable development will only be achieved if there is more collaboration, understanding and better dialogue between the forest communities, the government, developers and CSOs. Those activities are beneficial to them and also in the long run they are also beneficial to the ecosystem and the rivers and all those things that are in there. The exhibition and seminar will be held at the University of Papua New Guinea's Forum Square this Friday with the theme Supporting Holistic Approach Towards Responsible Sustainable Development in PNG. Jack Lapave, Jr. National MTV News.